okay so we have loaded our data now uh, what we want to do is while true and that frame equal to cap dot read gray underscore frame equal to cv2 dot cv2 dot color not color cv2 dot color cvt color and she should be capital frame i am going to pass the frame then i am going to convert it to back um grayscale color so that is going to be cv2 dot color underscore pgr2 grid okay and if red equal to equal to false so if we do not have a frame then we are going to continue with the loop not continue with the loop but we are going to skip the loop okay now what i am going to do is i am going to detect all the faces so the faces is going to be face let's go cascade cascade dot detect multi scale detect multi scale and i'm going to pass gray and gray underscore frame 1.3 and 5 okay so we have detected all the faces here now i'm going to short them faces <coughs> equal to sorted and i'm going to sort them on the basis of the faces and the key would be the area so key would be lambda f and f two times f three okay now for face in faces minus one it means that we are getting the biggest face in the frame now i'm going to extract all the parameters x y w h equal to face <coughs> okay so now i'm going to get the face section again face section is going to be gray underscore frame and that is going to be y to y plus h and w to w not w x to x plus w okay and x plus w okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to resize this the face section face section is going to be cv2 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 dot resize and face section i'm going to resize it in the shape of 100 by 100 <coughs> okay now what i have to do is i have to get the prediction so prediction is going to be knn i am going to uh, pass the our face section that is our normal face and our face data set to detect our face uh, in using the knn so this is our knn function and it takes our normal x this is the data set uh, our y that is going to be the labels our x that is going to this face section and k which is going to be 5 for now okay so let's do this and in this what i'm going to do is face data data set then face labels then face <coughs> section dot flatten okay so uh, i am doing this but i do not have to need the uh, need to do flatten one more thing that we need to do is that it is right now optimized for 64 but we need to make it to 10,000 because our images are of the size 100 by 100 so that is going to be 10,000 10,000 yeah so we are passing the phase then we will get the prediction in the form of the numbers then what i am going to do is red underscore name then names and in this name i am going to give and red 
okay again what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the name up there so cv2 dot put text frame then uh, i'm going to give the prediction name okay so then i have to give the position so x y minus 30 okay now i'm going to use the Hershey font so cv2 dot font underscore Hershey's font underscore Hershey simplex okay then I need to give the font size okay then I need to give the color that is going to be in the BGA format so blue it is going to be 0 0 then I need to give the thickness of the line or of the lines and the line is going to be cv2 dot uh, cv2 dot line underscore a -N. okay now I am going to put the rectangle over my face and frame x y and x plus w y plus h 0 times 255 times 0 okay and the width of the line is going to be 10 pixels then i'm going to use cv2 dot i am show for face is for face okay so i have to get out of here now hmm. so work is done almost done so i am show and in this i am going to pass the camera and the frame you can make the application name anything so it's up to you and i'm going to get the key best function now so key best is going to be cv2 dot weight key one it is going to be zero x f f if key pressed is going to equal to ord q then it is going to break out of the loop and after breaking out of the loop it is going to release the camera and also it is going to destroy all the windows so cv2 dot destroy all windows ok so what i am doing here is that i am getting the prediction from the knn function and this knn is going to predict in the form of 0 1 2 like this so for that what i have done is that we have already created a names dictionary so when we will give the number class name then our output is going to be a name okay so that name i have used to show up on the on my face so that we will know that whether it is working fine or not so let's run the whole code now okay so it is saying that face cascade is not defined so i think i have not oh yeah so i have not done that let's do it Gray frame is not defined again, and the mistake is again the same. So, gray frame should be like this. Okay, so it is showing us an error. Index. <coughs> so, it is saying that index 320 is out of bounds. So, okay, so again, this is a syntax error. I should have done this and this here so kernel kernel restart <coughs> and now it is saying that knn is not defined because knn is in the capital form so let's do this again It should work now if we do not have any other error. Uh, okay, so it is saying that it cannot reshape into the size of one into shape 
Okay, guys. The problem is that we we shaped this data, and we do not have to do this. Okay, and I also made one changes while doing this. So let me also fix that. Okay, and it should be like this. So let's say hex i. Yeah. So let's run this again. has no rectangle okay so it should be rectangle okay then I can start so now as you can see it is showing Gagan as my name so guys if you will save up another person name and, and then he will come into the picture then it will show his or her name so this was it for this video and thanks for watching and i'll see you next time